Johan, it's a great honor for us having you here uh, just uh, watching uh, the European, the video of the European Championship of last week uh, in Escarlino where Ben Hadley dominated, especially uh, downwind. Uh, how different is the technique uh, from uh, your time? You've been uh, Olympic champion in 1976. Uh, first, it obviously looks very smooth and very nice motion. That's obviously to do with the conditions he's sailing, but also with the stiff bricks today. So, but she is excellent. The principles, I think, are still the same as we used to sail the downwinds. So it's obviously a combination of uh, body motions, a means of balancing the, balancing the boat uh, with the heel, but also slightly impulses forward and backwards with the body. And most important, obviously, having direct sheet with only one part of the sheet uh, pumping once per wave. So he obviously just coordinating that perfectly with the right feeling and uh, he seemed to be just doing better than, than anyone else and I guess he would be faster than, than we used to be. So what, what make you uh, think uh, watching uh, a Finn uh, video is something, I mean it's been uh, uh, the most important part uh, in, in the first part of your career? No, I think when you look at the 76 times I think we, uh, we didn't do the same technique but in the early 80s I would say we basically did exactly the same what, what uh, Ben is doing now, but probably he's doing it a little bit better and also I think the stiffness of the rig always helps uh, downwind also to have a better acceleration with each, each pump on each wave. So and you can see he works quite radical with, with the main sheet, but at the same time it's a very smooth and, and round motion and that obviously helps to keep and maintain the speed at all times. At your time, video wasn't uh, so common, so you think uh, a video like this can help uh, uh, young sailors uh, to, to understand and uh, learn the technique? Yes, uh, now you see two boats next to each other and you can see how much uh, more aggressive and how wider the range of the motions of uh, Ben's boat are. But still, it's according to the rules, there's one pump per wave and, and obviously he is using all the momentum out of the boat motion uh, to accelerate the boat. So, video analysis, I think, is very common in all good sports, and uh, why not in sailing? So that's why, you know, there's often a dis discussion if you need coaches, if you need assistance. I guess, I think, as in other sports, you always uh, need coaches and good video analysis, good analysis of the training of the races. And I think young sailors, especially fin sailors, look at Ben, there's a lot to learn. I have a surprise for you before I let you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the podium uh, in Kingston. Uh, you are a gold medal, and behind you at this moment is John Burton receiving the bronze. Uh, John Burton, in this case, is the connection with, uh, I mean, with the America's Cup uh, for you. He won the America's Cup in 1983, uh, and, and, and you, you did it uh, last time uh, on Alinghi. So uh, <laughs> there's still some uh, moment during the day while you're sailing a TP-52, for example, or America's Cup, or you say, well, I'm doing this because I'm a fin sailor. You are still a fin sailor in some way. No, I think we all probably have been even optimist sailors before being fin sailors. No, sure, uh, you, you never forget these moments, and uh, you learned a lot, and you basically learned also the technical sailing, because uh, they, these boats are one design. Uh, in the end, everyone is sitting on the same boat, and it's about how you deal with the boat and how you find your tactics uh, through the course. Uh, which makes you winning. So definitely you, you never forget that, but when you race now, you focus on your race and you don't uh, think about the good old times, not of the fin sailing times, not of the cup sailing times. But when you see such a picture with John Bertrand and Balashov on the same podium, it obviously has been great moments. And actually that was the moment where I learned the first time that there's an America's Cup existing because I knew that John and some others at that time were working in the America's Cup world already, and I had no, no clue at all that there is such a big trophy existing in our sport. Wonderful. You've been one of the greatest uh, Olympic class sailors of all time. Is that part of your past, or are there still uh, chances to see you again in Olympic classes in the future? No, that, that's the past. I think uh, when you do uh, uh, want to sail Olympic classes and become a champion there, you have to invest the four year of an Oly Olympiad. Uh, into your yeah, training, uh, you can't come and, and, and win there within one or one and a half year. I think a lot of people trying again and again, they can participate, but they can't beat the, the real champions there. So now my career in the Olympic class is over. I focus now 
on other uh, bigger projects where also the project management is a big part of the, the, the whole efforts. I think it's a shame in some way, but it's okay. Thank you very much, Jochen. Thank you. You're welcome.